Hi friends, we all hear these days in the news about the shortage of chips or semiconductor devices in many industries, especially the automobile. Now, let's go deeper into that, uh, study that market further. Today, I'm going to talk about the role of ASML in the semiconductor industry. ASML stands for Advanced Semiconductor Material Lithography. It is name of the company which is located in Netherlands. Now let's talk in more detail what is the role it is playing and what this company actually does. So you all have seen chips. In common terms, they are called chips, semiconductor devices, integrated chips or integrated semiconductor. There are various names. In my days, it used to be called ASICs, Application Specific Integrated Circuits, right? I mean, all these names refer to the same thing, those little black plastic uh, chips with some legs, with some uh, metal legs protruding, which go into the integrated circuits. And that becomes part of your computer, cell phone, almost everything that is around us these days. Now, ASML, which is Advanced Semiconductor Material Lithography, is a company which manufactures the devices, which enables companies like Samsung, Intel, and any, everybody else to manufacture those ICs, manufacture those semiconductor devices. So it is a device which enables manufacturing of those integrated circuits. There is only one company in the world that is located in Netherlands. Thank God for that. At least one is there. But I, I really don't know how come nobody else dare to make it. And we'll talk about it, why there's only one company. But there's only one company which supplies to everybody and everybody manufactures these chips. Now you can imagine that how critical is that company, that technology to the rest of the economy. Today, if you want to buy a car, you can't get the delivery of it. If you want to buy cell phones, fortunately are coming. But there was a time not too long ago, I myself wanted to order a MacBook Pro, new MacBook Pro. I was told at least six to eight weeks. Same thing is true. Same story is there for any advanced device these days you want to order. Now, these ASML devices or machines, which are manufactured in Netherlands, they all are sold for $140 million a piece. So you can say that it's not a small change that you can find in your couch or something under your couch or under your mattress. It's so only some large companies can afford to buy this. That's why I think in earlier talks, I talked about why semiconductor manufacturing is not for small boys, not for small countries. It's a big boys play. Only big countries can do this, can afford to do this. Now these devices, ASML devices, $140 million, even more expensive than the entire, uh, I would say, ecosystem of semiconductor manufacturing. Now why only one company is there? Well. When I was looking into it, I what I discovered was it, is, it has happened over time. There were several small companies and then over time, I would say that ASML, that company from Netherlands, acquired various companies and some companies couldn't sustain due to various downturns that we faced in 2000 or 2008. Many went out of business. As a result, now we have this big monolithic company, you know, which is the only supplier of these machines and they are able to keep up with changes in technology that are required. I mean, you can imagine these, you know, these semiconductor devices, they have been going through a very big technological revolution. To give you an idea, uh, when I uh, did my first chip, I remember we worked with Xilinx, which is which does a programmable gate array. And in that we were told 10,000 gates. Gates is the logic uh, that actually toggles between it's like a switch logic that you implement uh, as part of the large design. So we have, let's say, for simplicity, 10,000 gates design. That's when I, maybe 20, 25 years ago, I did my first design. By the time I went to manufacturing, it became a million because we added more functionality into it, made it more complex. When I did my first startup, we almost had close to 4 million gates in a design. By the time we went to production with, with it, it was almost like 8 million gates in the design, 8 million transistors or gates in the design. Now you can see that today's chips, today's uh, technology, most of the chips are in several hundred million gates. 
so for that i mean you know to be able to compress all that logic all that complex logic into a small integrated circuit you do require these machines to be able to keep up with the technology so only few companies are able to keep up with it in fact only one in this case which has been able to keep up with it stay afloat and be able to be there with continuous supply of these machine to rest of the world so over time only one company has the last man standing kind of uh, uh, method or, or philosophy i would say they have only been there now uh, one question that has been asked is why doesn't asml make their own chips and compete with the intel apple and all these uh, samsung and all that i say i'm glad the world is not like that uh, because i think if everyone stay focused on what they are good at they have figured out they are good at making these machines to enable variety of manufacturers to build their integrated chips integrated circuits instead of them being the apple intel samsung and tesla and so many other manufacturers who use uh, these semiconductor chips or semiconductor devices they decided to focus on the machines to enable this not this because everything in this ecosystem is highly specialized what intel does samsung cannot do for the longest time people used to think well you know if dell sells most computers why can't dell make their own cpus central processing units why do they use intels well though apple now has proven that that they can do it themselves apple for the longest time was using arm cpus then they switched to intel for very long time they used intel then they over time they acquired a company which did cpus because they were not happy with the way intel was not able to keep pace with the technology they needed so they became masters of their own destiny but only in semiconductor in only in cpus not in other semiconductor devices they still source from other manufacturers so that's kind of you know it's a complex complex web of ecosystem players some people are good at this some people are good at something else so asml decided to be good at the making these monolithic machines they can supply to all these people so i think that's kind of how the world has worked and world has settled itself and it's it has been wonderful for everyone so far now let's talk about why the machines asml provides to various manufacturers of semiconductor devices different is a machine they supply to intel is highly customized to intel's process and design philosophy versus a machine they supply to samsung or tsmc tsmc is taiwan semiconductor manufacturing company and there are so many others i mean apple these days is using i think tsmc foundry so as apple designs their own chips on cpus central processing units and they send the design to tsmc to manufacture so tsmc is the one uses the machines for asml to manufacture and supply those cpus or other devices to apple that's how the ecosystem works now all these devices are highly customized different based on the process design philosophy and design process needed by those manufacturers those companies these you know devices are not it's not just one size fit all that's why these machines are very expensive they're highly customized take long time to build every machine and of course you sell one a month and you still have billions of dollar of revenue every year right i mean you can calculate 140 million dollar admin and of course add to it the maintenance contract for several years i mean it is it's, it's not small change it's, it's huge chunk of money i said one country is not happy about it and that country is china us has been blocking dutch government from selling this asml technology or machine directly to china china has been jumping at the bits to do their own manufacturing of similar device, similar machines but they have not been able to lay their hands on this and you perhaps all know why us has interest in blocking many reasons one us knows the reverse engineering expertise superior reverse engineering expertise and weak ip laws that china has they know the moment china lays its hands on a they you know big machine like that they are going to next day come up with a cheaper better more efficient version of it like we have seen in so many other things so they are really blocking uh, you know the sale of that technology other reason is that they also know that 
the moment uh, china dual does this i mean then in china everything is owned by the regime the their government regime and soon that technology that expertise will find its way into the military let's say intel can get a machine open that thing in in china i mean factures it there but soon it will find its way into the military in fact us has been blocking sale sale of many technologies to chinese government or chinese companies mainly because of that reason because they they know the commercial and commercial is all commercial business is under in a way under the thumb rule of the government and of course which owns the military so there is no distinction there so that's why us has been doing that not despite us blocking asml will china succeed in making this a uh, making machines equipment similar to sml china has these five year plans i mean similar to i would say uh, countries like india uh, they have but differences in india we announce five year plan half of the things don't even see light of the day by the time five year ends in china they have never missed a deadline china last year announced their 14th five year plan where they adopted this euv you know that is i mean that's what this technology is called asml is the name of the company and enhanced ultraviolet uh, you know so this euv thing has been adopted into china's 14th five year plan and they are going to get it by 2026 we all will be here to see hopefully hopefully this pandemic doesn't wash out the entire humanity so we'll be here to see this whether it happens or not but if it happens then you can see if it happens the good thing that will come out of it is the world hopefully will have access to cheaper smaller better machines because then there will be some competition so whether better machine comes from china or asml but there will be some competition for asml keep up with and they hopefully do better machines than what china is able to produce or china can do those cheaper better machines that is a good part not so good part china will have of course access to these things and you can see a lot of other technologies that can come out of tech china as well so i think that's kind of what it is conclusion of this is the entire tech economy today is in a way relying on one single company out of a country called netherlands and that company is called asml advanced semiconductor lithography those machines are sold for 140 150 million dollar and add semi add maintenance contract to it sold only to the large manufacturer of semiconductor devices if india tomorrow becomes a player in this uh, semiconductor industry india would have to buy these machines that's why we were talking about 10 billion dollar investment that india needs to make bunch of it will go to that company and if of course in the future you find china being able to produce similar machines it means more companies in china will have access to cheaper better and advanced technology if not that asml will come up with better technology than china all in all we are in good hands hopefully this chip shortage doesn't last that long and we all are on the other side of pandemic and chip shortage good luck till next time thank you